Are you tired of playing Yu-Gi-Oh by yourself? Are you tired of not having someone to play with? And are you looking for the female touch so you can fully enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh in its glory? Well, look no further. This Twitter user has the answer for you. What is up all you beautiful people? It is I, Akemi TCG, back with the brand new video. And today, my friend gave me this really neat suggestion and it was a pretty interesting Twitter post. So let's get right into it. So we have this Twitter user, uh, goes by the name of Chris. He says, I quote, this guy wanted to play Yu-Gi-Oh so bad, he paid for a rental girl service and asked the girl to play Yu-Gi-Oh with him and kept requesting the same girl to come every time. After several times, she showed up with her own self-built deck. Wow. Wow. Okay. I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions, guys. So first of all, how much is a rental girl service? Let me just look this up real quick. Guys, I am so scared to see how much this would cost. Girl service in Japan. Okay. Anime Senpai. What is this site? What? You have to have all these criteria? Hold on, hold on. You... <laughs> Can't be a minor, obviously. Under 20. You can't be not pretty. Woman planning to retire less than six months, so an ugly woman according to her own prejudice. Wait, what? This is getting way deeper than I thought it was gonna be. Can't have acne. Little feminine power. What does that mean? Suspicious woman. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote this article? Hold on. Great need of money, very shy, without style, no sense of fashion, dark skinned woman, fat woman. BMI less than 22. Jesus, they are not kidding around here. A woman with children, mental illness. Okay, okay, so. You know, they have these really, really strict criteria for this job where you can be rented out as a girlfriend for a day in Japan. Here is the service described. Ooh. Do you want to spend a fun day with her? Do you want to go out with someone on vacation occasionally? Do you want someone to choose your clothes, have dinner with her? Do you want her to use it to rehearse for a date with your true love? Please use this service when you want to do it. And please note that our company has been in service since September 2014. In addition, Okay, they have a trademark. Cool. Okay, here's the question we're gonna answer. It is not cheap at all, as not everyone can afford high prices. Drum roll, please. There's three different categories, junior, regular, and premium. And if you want to date a girl from the junior category, a two hour date would cost 10,000 yen, which is roughly 74. So I would assume that the categories are based on how popular these women are. So this is $74 US, which is already wow for the junior category. That's very expensive. So that's $37 per hour. That's some quick Yu-Gi-Oh math there. And then a two hour date with a regular junior, 12,000 yen, which is 90. This article is so good. This article is so good. It just answers my question. So now for some of you might be thinking, thinking 80 or 90 is not too expensive for a two-hour date but it should be pointed out that dinner food drinks etc and transportation is not included so you're paying just to have her be there then you have to pay for the dinner the food the drinks and any transportation and you whether, whether you're taking a subway whether you're taking an uber in japan it's wicked expensive i know that but you're just you're out of luck here so 90 dollars for two-hour date that is pretty darn expensive. That's like what a Dynamorphia Teresia Starlight. So let's go back to this Twitter guy. So Chris is the guy that's retweeting this. Obviously, he's giving us an English perspective, you know, just so we can actually fully understand because you know Japanese is a translation barrier a little bit. And Amuro says, let me just click on this and I'm kind of scared to see what's gonna happen. So translate tweet. Let me just translate his direct tweet and it doesn't translate. Cool, whatever, whatever. Not a big deal. So there's an image attached to it. So which I would assume, I'm hoping it's a picture of him playing Yu-Gi-Oh with this uh, girl. So bam. Oh, that's kind of wholesome. There's some um, couple things on the field here you like to know. So they're both playing blue eyes. That's cute. He's got that dragon spirit of white on his side. She's got that blue eyes, white dragon and Link Karibo. So I'm assuming she sent the white stone agents to summon the Link Karibo. Right off the boat, his hand are looking kind of trash. <laughs> so <laughs> he has <laughs> two two polymerizations, advanced ritual art, and um, I think that's chaos form. Is that a trash hand? Hold on, let me... Oh, I'm about to eat my words, guys. You guys about to roast me in the comments. Advanced Ritual Art. His hand is doo-doo butter, okay? I just had to make an intermission to double check what Advanced Ritual Art is. He can't do anything with this hand. L realistically, unless he has some sort of fusion he can make with the blue eyes, that'd be really cool. But he really can't do much with that hand. His field's looking pretty good compared to her field, so my thoughts about this. This seems, honestly, way more wholesome than I thought. In Japan, I understand the culture. 
is pretty darn I'm not gonna I don't know if I could say backwards I don't think that's the right adjective for it but a lot of people are just very socially depraved everybody's working really long hours and when they want to indulge in their hobbies you kind of just do it on your own there's no real way to meet meet people in like person and whatnot unless you use the dating apps in Japan and they're quite brutal in Japan, honestly. And most people don't really learn how to be social, how to be sociable growing up in a society because it's all about the respectfulness, the politeness, etc. If you guys ever go to Japan, you're gonna like see this yourself 100%. This is way more wholesome than I thought it was gonna be. People might say he's a degen, but I feel like, you know, if you have a hobby you really love and you don't really have someone to share it with and you want, like kind of like a little bit of both that don't yuck his yum, you know, he's, he's just trying to have a good time. So let's read some of the comments. More depraved than anything else they could have done TBH. I'm, I mean, if if the dude's happy with it, man, it's it's his money, he worked hard for it. Bro is a legend. Okay, Alex Hodges, there we go. Gentlemen, I may not have a brain, but I have an idea. Ooh. I, I like to also like really reinforce the fact that like she didn't even have to bring her own deck. He probably just like showed her all the blue eye stuff and he's really enthusiastic. So she probably just made the deck herself and wanted to play with him. So that's like S++++ plus 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 to your service i think it's good service i don't know about you guys but that, that seems like good service to me uh, rent a girlfriend step aside we have rent a rival Ooh, that's kind of cool what if you just like have like a, a separate station where you can rent rivals and then you can just um wait isn't that just coaching yeah scratch that guy scratch that scratch that didn't know you can have that much riz as a tcg player that is it's, it is rizzy it be rizzy weird way to increase the player base but okay so this is what i was supposed to do to save my locals <laughs> y'all funny man i know this isn't that important but why is she sitting in her chair like that what do you mean hold on wait i'm not even looking at this picture correctly what is she so it looks like her knee her knee is on the the plank there oh man guys i'm stupid okay so I was looking at the image wrong. She's sitting sideways on the chair, but for whatever reason, she's leaning her knee on the chair. Yeah, I don't know why she's sitting like that. That looks kind of uncomfortable. Real talk though, guys, if you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh, you need a waifu and you're playing Dragon Maid, you're playing Striker, Blue Eyes, doesn't matter what tech you're playing, find me at the next YCS. I will be your personal rival for a whole 10 minutes. It's going to be sick. Guys, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyways, you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you don't like it, dislike it. That's completely fine. If you want to see more random stuff like this, let me know. My name is TCG. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>